morning, guys. We're here on Thursday, March 2nd, the very first day of the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Magazine Expo. Tackle Express right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Fredo's in. Uh-oh. Nixon running now. <laughs> They're coming in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there, oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Fredo. Big Papa. 619. What's up? Whoa, what you get? What you get? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Line it up. Talk to me. <laughs> what up? We have a customer. We have a zero one out of 20 rod Sean's got here. So what was your decision making in getting this number? Your lucky number? Uh, it either had to be, you know, like either Kobe's number, my wedding anniversary. All right. So we're here day three at the PCS show. We're hanging out in the Bloody Decks outdoors booth and we're here with the man, the myth, the legend. This is Ira Waldman. It's an important dude. So tell us what you do for Bloody Decks. Yeah, so uh, at BD Outdoors, I'm responsible for our surf content, our inshore content, and I help produce a lot of the other stuff that we do, as well as all of our photography. I'm able to do that in-house, which is a lot of fun. Uh, some of the stuff I do recently is every week, every Thursday, we're having, or every other week, we're having an inshore article go live. Lots of great tips and tricks that I cover in that. Just this yesterday, or yeah, two days ago, I uh, had an article go live that covers everything you need to know about winter spotted bay bass fishing how to fish, where to fish, the gear to use, everything that we've kind of experienced over the past six weeks kind of in this slower, colder weather. I mean, we've really had some success out there, so it's definitely something that you guys should check out. So what are your ideal conditions for winter fishing spotted bay bass? So for winter fishing, we see some of these really big tides sometimes, and I'm looking for a pretty moderate tide, um, you know, say maybe a four or five foot swing. I like to start on the lower tide, work my way up through, and when it comes to how I catch these fish because a lot of times in the winter these fish are slowing down their metabolism slows and they're not gonna be as active to feed so really there's two key ways to get them one is just slowing down with them offer slower presentations bigger jigs big soft baits on the bottom that's gonna kind of appeal to those instincts in that colder water and the other way is to force a reaction bite you can do this with spinner baits crank baits other hard baits and oftentimes if they're gonna see a bait moving through the water column really fast, sometimes it can trigger that bite, and that's a great way to capitalize on them. Absolutely, so how, how deep do you like to fish during the winter? During the winter, it ranges, because definitely they are staying a little bit lower, they're thicker in the eelgrass, or if they're on dock pilings, a lot of times I'll fish soft baits low on dock pilings, and you know, if I'm fishing, say, hard baits or spinner baits, I'm looking in that like 10 to 15 foot range. Awesome, so what articles have you written? Tell us where to find them. Yeah, totally. So find them on bdoutdoors.com. Um, if you look at the top nav bar, you can go to the inshore section. And you can see a bunch of articles. We cover, you know, different setups, rods, reels, line, terminal tackle, the best baits to use. You know, I throw a lot of stuff for kicker, war baits, just a lot of great new baits um, that really can help you on, out on the water. So bdoutdoors.com. You can also see stuff on our Instagram, and that's a great way to follow along. All right, you heard it here. This is Ira Waldman, and we can find you on Instagram at... Ira dot, Wald, uh, Ira dot Waldman. It's the man right here. Check him out. Check out Bloody Dex PCS show day three. Come on down. Oh, LA Fishing Alliance in the house. <laughs> Poison girl. All right. Just had some coffee. All right. Are you ready? Wait, why are you filming like a dad? Don't we film portrait these days? All right. Oh yeah. Well, no, even on the phone, man. Kids watch it on their phone. What? You don't watch it on your phone like this? Okay, let's go. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the YouTubes. I'm Randy Spicer. This is Kicker Fishing Brand. This is the last day of the show. 
we're pretty excited. We uh, released some new products for this stuff. We're almost sold out of our, our glorious trifecta pack. You need to check this out. I literally today dress like a sand bass just to help sales. Sand bass is one of the colorways that comes in the trifecta pack. So we're pretty stoked on this. We've got like a little calico, a little sand bass, and a spotty in there. And these fish, they're cannibalistic. They will eat themselves. So it's pretty fun for us to like fish these things and catch a spotty on the spotty, a sand bass on the sand bass, and a calico on the calico. Even sometimes you catch a calico on a sand bass. It's pretty crazy. It's insane. But we also have some new colors and jigs um, as well that was new for the show. You'll actually find them on our website, uh, kickerfishing.com, at one point in time. Maybe a week or two after the show, depending on how tired I am after this, because it's been a long four days. And today's the last day, and I'm still hyped to sell this freaking jig, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to bite. This is probably going to be our favorite color this year. Um, we actually literally made this color because Brian Tim wanted a hot pink jig, and I can understand why, because that dude gets bit. But also new for the show, let's get off here, is squid. We call this squid vicious. Got a little squid pattern on here, you know. I'm talking weird in the mic. Got a little squid pattern on here. A little flashy back, little white hips, so that way you see a nice little contrast in the in the water when you're fishing it. So uh, we're pretty excited. I hope you guys are actually here. Um, I know I just don't have a really way to. On your wrist. <laughs> yeah, my wrist. Uh, all right, we also got this sick bait slap. We think that we're geniuses because of this thing. It's actually pretty rad to hold a rig or hold your, um, you know, like a, a jig onto your actual rod. You slap it around, boom, just like that. Put that on your jig. Put that on your PK. Something against the uh, your rod while you're moving. Hopefully you can still hear me as I talk like this. So oh, there goes that. While you're down there, Sky. Um, that's what editing's for. Don't worry. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. So let's let's look at another uh, new color for the show. We got PK5 Rainbow Trout. This thing's been hot in the salt and in the fresh water. We're pretty stoked on this thing. Um, I already caught like a 17-inch spotty on it. Not to float my own boat. Pun intended. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We're pretty excited about this. The show has actually been really good. We've sold a lot of jigs, sold a lot of PKs. And you know what? If you're, if you're not here this year, we hope to see you next year. What up, yo? This is the last day. This is Sunday at the PCS show. We're here with Mike Muto. This is the man behind Submission Fishing Co. So uh, I'm going to hand the mic to him, and he's going to talk a little bit about his booth and what he's got going on this weekend. What's going on, guys? Like Lane said, it's the last day. Um, you know, we've just been selling everything from our 600 grams, the big stuff, all the way to the 10 grams, 20 grams, everything in between. And it's just been super cool, you know. Uh, Island Tackle and Tackle Express has had some stuff, and I think they've been selling well. And it's just really been cool meeting everybody, people coming by, saying what's up. You know, I see them in the comments, you know, in the chat and stuff like that, and putting the faces together. So everybody that came out and supported, it's been awesome. All the fishing reps groups, uh, Taipan been making a big splash kicker war baits it's been great so so everybody that came by really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you on the water oos that's awesome dude that was sweet thanks <laughs> all right here we go here we are pcs show we are at the taipan booth with the man right here this is simon this is the artistic dude who makes all these quality rods you see right here in the booth and tell us about what you got going on and how the show's been so far for you oh man the show's been awesome if you guys didn't come down here oh man you missed out this has been a freaking awesome show we got the little whole collab going on with war baits right here we we made them five different models left everything on the table we freaking did it all man we went all out on this one and you when you pull on these rods you're gonna love them so that's freaking awesome lifetime warranty we roll all our own blanks in yuma arizona american made what can i say baby you heard it here yeah it's been a super packed show a lot of interaction with you know people who fish and people who love what we do so yeah it's been, awesome. yeah, it's been a good time well check it out type in here at the booth so Tell me a little bit about the technology you got going on these rods. Like, how do you make? How do you roll the blanks? How do you? How do you put them together? What's your factory like? Okay, so what we'd start with is we use 100% carbon fiber, graphite, prepreg, whatever you want to call it. Once it's the actual fibers of the material is called carbon fiber. So once you put it together with 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 epoxy and you bake it, it becomes graphite. So it's that's the actual material that they're made out of we don't use fiberglass scrim like i said 100 percent carbon fiber and then man did you see that dude that was bending on him yesterday he literally tried to break that blank dude well, yeah so tell us what what rod was what happened in the first place so kevin was you know showing people this video from <laughs> from 
you know, on Instagram where we we deadlifted a 25 pound plate. You know, we started with 10 pounds, and worked our way up, and like, you know what? Let's just go big and go home. Boat flipped a 25 pounder, and then I was like, man, that still wasn't enough. So I, we put it on a scale, and literally, I gave it all I had. I only was able to get it up to 45 pounds. I was just like, there's my head felt like it was gonna explode. So he's over here talking to the boys that catch it, <laughs> and are at uh, Tackle Express. And they, they're like, no way, I want to try this. So they come over, and I ain't going to lie, dude, that dude, that dude dude's a big boy. He a big he, boy. Yeah, he, he got is. some power. He's like, I want to try it. I was like, what? Are you serious? He's like, yeah, I want to try it. I was like, uh, okay, okay, JoJo, you do it. And he's like, no, uh-uh, you do it. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. So I held it, and I was on the floor, and he got into it, and oh, man, he was oh, actually dragging me on the floor. Dude. I was like, oh, here we go. You should have oh, seen how red. Not once, but twice he threw it back out. And then the boys from across, they, the captain from across, he was like, no, I want to try this too. And he starts getting in. And I was like, oh, my God, dude, I, I can't hold on anymore. These boys, I'm telling you, they were bright red. Like, talk about manpower. These dudes are fully loaded up on, on what what rating was that blank? That was actually a lighter swim bait blank, a freshwater blank. That wasn't no tuna blank. That was no big rod, nothing like that. It was a 786, which is a very popular bank for a lot of bass fishing, a lot of freshwater stuff. And it, so, like, take into consideration the 80H is more like an 8 power. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a 6 power, and we were getting it. It looked like a slow pitch rod when we were done. <laughs> well, you, you heard it here. This is the man, Simon, behind Taipan Rods. They're made in USA. It's quality stuff. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, guys. Yo. All right, guys, we're here at the PCS show in the Warbaits booth. We've been here all day. Avron's been here for four days. It's been pretty great. We got baits on selection here, rods in the corner. Taipan Rods is next to us and kicker fishing down there as well. Uh, but it's been a great event. We've had a bunch of fun here. How's the show been for you, Afrin? Yeah, it's been a great time overall. We've really connected with a lot of people. And besides showing our product, that's what it's all about. It's just connecting with people, sharing our knowledge, showing them how to rig the baits, and of course, Showing them our new rod line. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Talking shop, messing around with baits, getting stoked on fishing. But, yeah, it's been a pretty fun show. How about the rods? How would the release of those go? Yeah, we did really well on them. We got them all pretty much all sold out. And there's just a lot of hype and buzz on them. Everybody that pulled on them really liked it. So I think we're going to have these things soar right into this year. Yeah. And from the looks of it, they're pretty much all gone from the show. So when, when are we going to get the next batch of them? Our next batch should be around May-ish, May 15th. It takes a little time to build these things because they are handmade in America, Yuma, Arizona, by actual humans. That's what it's all about, right there, those guys. Yeah. So yeah, we're here in the Warbaits booth. It's been an epic show. We're kind of winding it down, so it's time to, time to go fishing after the show and, and pack everything down. But hopefully you guys had a good time and you got all your baits styled. You. Let's hit it. Is that What's up, homies? Harry over at Tackle Express. We're at the PCS show for 2023, day number three on Saturday. Over here at the lovely Tackle Express booth, you can see what we got going on. All of our Warbaits product, 10% off, as well as if you buy four or more, you'll get one free. If you buy five or more, you'll get one free one, as well as a raffle ticket for the Project 00 Warbaits rod, one and only one. So that's a great option to get into. Lots of sales, discounts, great people to come along. It's turning out to be a great event. Got lots and lots of rods on sale as well. The brand new Taipan rods as well. Signature Warbait series right there for you boys. Eww. Got any questions, you know who to come and see. Either Harry over at Tackle Express or Kevin Nakata from Fishing Reps. Reps.